Hi, I'm Jazz. I'm 11 years old. I was born a boy, but I live as a girl, and I am transgender. This is me as an infant. I was a cute little boy, and very happy too. But even before I was two, I felt like a girl. As soon as I could crawl, I would reach for girl toys. As soon as I could speak, I told my parents I was a girl. I didn't just like girly things. I knew I was a girl trapped in a boy's body. My parents said I never even acted like a boy. My parents accepted the fact that I was transgender. They knew I wanted to live as a girl all the time. Here I am at a dance recital when I was four years old. I was devastated because I couldn't wear a tutu like the other girls. Those were terrible times. Kids would make fun of me and I was miserable. I just wanted to live as a girl all the time. Finally, my parents could not watch me suffer anymore. And they let me live as the girl that I am today. Here I am at preschool during my transition. When I was five, we changed my pronoun from he to she. And I started to let my hair grow long. When I was six, my parents, my older sister and brothers, and I were on 2020 with Barbara Walters. And we continue to share our story. Someone asked me why I used to be a boy and now I'm a girl. I would say that I have a girl brain and boy body. And I think like a girl, but I, but I just have a boy body and it's different than you. Okay to be different because it just matters who you are. It doesn't matter if you're different than anybody else. It just matters if you're having a good time and you like who you are. We speak at universities, medical schools, and conferences all over the country to raise awareness. We even started our own foundation. And our family continues to tell our story around the world. But still, like many trans kids, I face a lot of discrimination. I got in trouble for using the girls' bathroom, and I should have the right to use that bathroom. I'm not different from anybody else, and I can lock the door and make sure they don't walk in. When I was eight, I was banned from playing girl soccer just because I'm transgender. For over two years, we fought against this rule. As a result of our continued fight for my right to play soccer, the United States Soccer Federation took action and allowed me to play. It was great to finally get back on the field. The Soccer Federation is currently working on changing its policy to include all transgender players. So no kids will ever have to go through the discrimination that I faced. I just hope to continue to make a difference by inspiring others to be true to themselves.